All right, what's good everyone? It's MJO23Dan. So today I got the 2015 Retro Air Jordan 7 Hair, and right next to it is the OG Air Jordan 7 Hair. Uh, this is the pair from 1992, and that's the pair from 2015. Uh, came in a little bit late because I purchased off NikeStore.com, and I just want to give you a comparison between the OG and the retro. Since I haven't seen many videos regarding uh, the differences and the comparisons between, uh, I thought I'd you know, give you guys a little sample of what these two have in store. So um, I have seen the 2008 countdown pack comparison to the 2015, but nobody I have really seen with the OG. So let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, so just coming into it, when you open the box for the OG, it's going to open up the reverse side. And I'm just probably going to do maybe one shoe uh, in comparison to the other because, well, maybe I'll bust out two because the tongues are different. But anyways, the OG had the Air Jordan Flight Club card. It gave you uh, all of this good stuff if you became a member. I really think Jordan Brand could have capitalized when they did it for the retro. For the retro, they have that hair Jordan card. And then, you know, nothing on the back really. But uh, I really think they could have targeted the, the younger guys uh, and even maybe some of us adults to join some club and maybe get some goodies and, you know, some limited stuff. So it might be something they might want to think about in the future. Because I remember a lot of the stuff from the Air Jordan Flight Club was pretty awesome. And I'll probably do another video regarding all this stuff and all the goodies that you got. But it was like posters and autographed uh, photo of Michael Jordan and, you know, stuff that you can order. Uh, came in the black paper. Set that aside. And then the new one comes with the white paper with the gold 23 you guys already saw the card here's the label details all right so set this up real quick the OG is gonna be on your left and the retro is gonna be on your right I already took out the other one of this so I'll just uh, doing a little comparison on my own before I started the video and you know what to be honest with you the retro's done really well I'm very happy with it actually um, you know despite it being remastered uh, there are some corners that Jordan Brand did cut but I want to go ahead and point some of that, those out and uh, just show you guys the details here so first off uh, what you're gonna see here are the differences in the tongues so with the OG I kinda liked that you had all of the colors in there. You got black, the silver, the yellow, the green, the black, the red, or is that orange? So in comparison to the retro, you know, you don't have too much. I mean, it's down there, but you know, I'm um, hearing that all the tongues are different. Uh, let me know in the comments. And then here's the left shoe. Got majority of the black and the silver in here. And then on the OG, uh, a little bit of the same to its counterpart here. Let's start with the toe. I'm going to go with the left shoe here. And I want you guys to pay attention to these two areas right here. The retro is narrower in comparison to the OG. And you also have that little notch. I first thought that these stitch lines right here were different from this. It looks like it comes up a little bit more than it does on the OG. The toes are basically the same. And uh, as far as material, it's, it's really, really close. Uh, when, I, when I show you guys the cuts of the leather, let's come up here to the ankle here. You're going to see on the OG that there are two thick pieces of leather bound together or sewn together whereas on the retro 
you have the thick part on the outside and then a thin part on the medial or on the inside so Jordan Brand kind of cut corners there let's see um, as far as the side here is the OG uh, here is the retro and then you want to notice this area whereas on the OG it's a little bit smaller let me just bring it up here for you guys so on the retro uh, you have this opening right here where I thought it was a little bit bigger and then on the OG it was not let's look at the other side here there's the opening and then here's the opening to there the Jumpmans on the retros I've already said in other videos I really like what they've done the stitching on the retro and the Jumpman is real nice so you got something that's consistent on the Jumpman whereas on the OG you know you kinda had that not so much not so clean I also want to point out on the back on the heel area um, it's one piece so this is just one piece that was stitched on whereas on the retro you have a seam right there on the back so there are two pieces of leather that connected right behind the pull tab All right, the 23 on the back is still similar I didn't notice any grave changes there so these are two lefts and then here are two rights Uh, there might be a slight color change on these sevens here. If you guys didn't know, these are actual sevens to represent the Air Jordan 7. And you'll see that here. 7-7. Seven, seven. So those badges are correct. And then, uh, oh, one thing I also wanted to point out. So here is the OG. Um, if you look at the inside where it connects the tongue, the tongue top to the rest you have this like it's like felt almost like um, you know like a billiard table it's got that felt right there when you compare it to the retro it's got that like nylon nylon look so that's one other difference as well the uh, I'm like jumping here I'm sorry guys but uh, the OG, which is right here, you've got the pull tab set slightly higher than the retro. So as I bring it closer, you can kind of see. Also, the uh, extra piece of leather right here, right here on the bottom, is a little bit more than the OG, which is less and then the backing to this is silver whereas the retro it's white and then one cool thing about the retro is that it has Nike Air on there with no registered on it whereas on the OG it has two one by the E in Nike and then one right above the checks the, the swoosh And then here is the tag information for the OG. And here's the tag information for the retro. One other thing I really liked is that the retro stayed true to the OG in that it didn't have those silver lace tips as they did with the countdown pack. Thank you Jordan Brand for doing that. And here is the original tuck mine in here with no silver on the lace tips also one other thing that I went back and forth with uh, an individual on um, 
on social media and uh he has a, another another shoe another um not a hair i think it was like a cardinal seven the og and he has three three uh openings here on the on the laces here whereas i only have two so it doesn't necessarily mean that it's fake but i've tried to do a little bit more research on this The mountain peaks here, they're they're pretty much identical to the retro. Uh, it's not it's got that flat paint. It's not it's not uh, glossy at all. So appreciated that. Here's the OG. And you know you typically like the craftsmanship issues that uh, remastered series have been getting hit on uh, you know this is the OG and you can you can see all of the glue over the years have dried up and the sole is getting you know white because it's getting old whereas on the retro you know I think Jordan Brand is doing a better job at the craftsmanship so I think it was just a matter of time that they you know have not perfected, but have gotten better with uh, putting together the shoes. Anyway, so the last bit is the sole. And here is your retro. Let's see. This is the OG. So, I think it was done really well. So, all in all, I th I'm, I'm really happy with the purchase and, you know, what Jordan Brand has brought forth to the table here. And uh, commend their work for actually trying to keep it uh, as close to the OG as possible. So that is your look at a comparison. I'm sorry it was a, uh, you know, jumpy here and there. Uh, I kind of wish that I had a choice to choose between the tongues here, uh, just to get them a little bit more consistent with these OGs here. Uh, I do like the pattern that they had given me on the right shoe, whereas on the left shoe is usually just. Uh, the red and the silver and the black so it I think it's kind of missing a little bit more of the orange a little bit of the mint which I like I think the green the green and the mint it, it kind of sets it off a little bit so it it shows its true form to what the uh, Looney Tunes aspect is all about so uh, again you know that's your comparison I didn't want to you know go uh, too long on this video but I just wanted to show you since I hadn't really seen anybody else do an OG versus a retro comparison yet um, and that's it so I'm gonna be picking up the uh, Jordan 11 low in the black and red hopefully I'm waiting for calls uh, emails from raffles and whatnot um, and then next week we have the Jordan 1 Chicago and uh, you know whatever calls I get on that I'm taking them in I'm gonna hoard them because uh, Jordan 1's are just awesome like that. Uh, I missed out on the Royals and the Fragment 1, so I uh, kinda wish I had those in my collection just so that I can kinda compare you know, between the older style retro and I even have the OGs as well. Well, not the Royal uh, and the OG. Um, you won't, but that'll all come in due time. Um, again, thank you for any of my new subscribers. I'm closing in on 6,000 of you guys that are uh, Subscribe to the channel, so I hopefully, you know, get that to grow a little bit more. But uh, my channel is is basically just you know comparisons. I don't really do too many unboxings. Um, I will do pickups because you know you got to keep things fresh, I guess. Um, I do showcase a lot of the older Jordans out there and any of the vintage stuff. Um, as you saw in my last video, I picked up the retro '95 Air Jordan 2. I'm actually looking to complete that set now uh, that I started it. So I'm looking for the the black and red one uh, for sure from 94. Um, that's on the top of my priority list. And then uh, the threes. So uh, if anybody has any leads, you can tag me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 
Uh, email me also, mjoe23dan at gmail.com. And that's about it. So uh, look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments and uh, look forward to the next video. Thanks guys, take care.